line ahead to South Sudan. The country is planning to construct a multi-million dollar power line in its oil-rich Upper Nile region. The finance minister says the project is aimed at encouraging commercial agriculture and industrialization in the area. Well, CCTV's Patrick Oyet reports. South Sudan's government says the provision of electricity to various parts of the country is top of its agenda and it wants to start by connecting the oil-rich town of Malakal to the power grid in rank. Currently, electricity in rank comes from Sudan. Many towns in South Sudan are powered by generators, but the government says they are expensive to maintain. In the short run, it plans to import power from its neighbors while it develops hydroelectric plants. We had a surplus uh, of electricity in Rang Town, which has not been not being used. And, and as uh, the region is working to integrate and to uh, utilize the services available for the interests of the people in the regions, East Africa, um, therefore we are here today to implement this uh, important project which will actually um, will encourage uh, industrialization. The project will cost more than 360 million US dollars. The government has not disclosed where the money will come from, but it is says it has already instructed the technical team to finalize the contract with the construction company so that work can commence as soon as possible. South Sudan's electricity sector is massively underdeveloped. Construction of a hydroelectric power station on the Nile River came to a halt when conflict broke out in 2013. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.